I mean, that was exciting, wasn't it? And then she, well, then she died, so that wasn't really exciting. That was a little traumatic. I'm still traumatised by that one. But anyway, moving on. I felt really connected to them the whole time, and I love William and Harry, and, you know, William finally grew up and, and got his Kate, the Duchess, and now Harry, the rebel's about to get married to Meghan Markle in a few months. And when I first heard the news, the first thing that I thought was, where's my fucking wedding? <laughs> hey, I'm 44. These pricks weren't even thought about when I first thought, I'm going to be a princess and get married one day. And now they're both going to be off the shelf. Like, and the thing is, I spent 10 years hanging out at the gay disco. I thought I was with kindred folk. Oh, yeah, don't worry about us. We're never going to have to worry about weddings, are we? Now all the gays in the village are going to get married before me too. <laughs> and then the other day the doctor told me that, you know, you might be perimenopausal. Oh, great. That's sexy, isn't it? So added mood swings and hot flushes and the odd panic attack. I'm not a princess. I'm a fucking barren mess. <laughs> anyway, I'll get rid of the rage in a minute. I do love all of the royals and I think the thing is because I actually very nearly became royal. True story. Um, I grew up with Mary Donaldson. You'd know her best as Princess Mary, Crown Princess Mary. and um, So we were really close and um, we were hanging out together the day that she met, or we met, Freddie, Crown Prince Frederick. And, um, you know, I actually met Fred first and we were getting along so well and having drinks and, you know, there was a lot of flirting going on and Mary wasn't even getting a look in at this point. Anyway, it's at about this point in the story that it becomes a little bit like a sliding doors moment because in an alternate universe, it would have been Mary who couldn't find her way out of the toilet cubicle because... She'd accidentally snorted too much horse tranquilizer. <laughs> thought it was cocaine. I'm a rookie mistake. <laughs> anyway, so in the following 45 minutes, where I thought I was in fact a real life badger, Mary swooped in and stole my prince. Like a mole. Anyway, more fool Frederick, because I go like the clothes when I can actually find my feet and I don't feel like I'm in a cartoon Billy Wonka's chocolate factory. Anyway, there's no hard feelings about that, except that I wasn't invited to the wedding because, you know, I've got some behavioural issues, <laughs> Mary. Anyway, I just, I'm, I'm sad about it because we were so close and we used to be really similar, but now I can't help but marvel about how different our lives are. Like, here's Crown Princess Mary. She's over there and she's heading up charities that fight tirelessly against bullying and violence and here's me, who, well, recently I fought, fought tirelessly to um, avoid having a fucking meltdown at the Sorrento IGA this summer. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that stuff is really hard. And look, she's really applauded across the planet for her masterful use of the Danish language. And I, I actually just like to give myself a pat on the back when I can still use my smartphone after a bottle and a half of wine. There was that one time I accidentally texted my mum rather than my boyfriend. And um, look, it's pretty safe to say that mummy wasn't looking to eat what I was offering. <laughs> <laughs> I don't also think that my 74-year-old mummy would ever use a fist the way that I was. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I actually was just really pleased that I managed to type it out. And really, Spell check didn't change the word pussy to puppy. <laughs> anyway, anyway, but I do take my hat off to the royals. Like, they're superhuman. When William and Kate got married, two billion people across the planet watched that wedding. Can I only imagine it's going to be the same in a month's time? And all I keep thinking is, fuck me. I get nervous if, you know, open my cards have to run to the toilet. And I fucking hope Harry's got enough toilet paper for me in the morning of the wedding. Can you imagine you're there in your million dollar like, wedding gown? You're in the car, you're all ready to go. Every man on the planet and their dog is watching this thing and all you think to yourself is, holy oh, shit, I've got to fucking crap myself. <laughs> anyway, that's all I've got for you tonight. Thanks so much for having me. You guys are awesome. Yeah, I think at least uh, two, two minutes before then, the kind of momentum uh, goes, so I need to get your hands together again.